Everybody loves turkey chili. If you want to make it super, super lean, you know, one night when you're home and maybe you're having a bunch of girls over, ladies like to watch football too, you can use ground turkey breast or ground chicken and you drop the fat content way down. This is just straight up ground turkey. You know what else makes a quick work of browning and crumbling meat? is a potato masher. Make sure the pan is very hot when you add the meat and let the meat brown. Don't stir it around too much until the bottom has a chance to crust up. It's about a palm full of coriander we're gonna put down in there, nice bright ground coriander. And some smoky cumin. Mm. You shy away from the red chili powder blends because of course they would make the chili red. This guy still smells like chili, walks and talks like chili. We're adding lots of poblano chilies to it, but it won't be red. So we got one large onion chopped, uh, four large cloves of garlic chopped. What makes the turkey chili so special? Well, one of many things I'd like to think that makes the turkey chili so special are the addition of several homemade charred poblanos. Chop up your peppers. Lots of peppers. Okay, get them into the mix. And then we're gonna stir in one can of pinto beans, or if you like, you can use um, white beans, cannellini beans. I like these little pinto beans. Now I'm gonna add oh, about two cups of chicken stock to this. And when I add the stock to the chili, I start working the sides of the pot a little bit to get some of those bits up there. And then I also need to work the bottom of the pot because we toasted up our spices and some of them can be stuck down there, so we have to free them. Now I know this turkey chili looks delicious, right? Looks great. It's gonna get even better looking because we're gonna turn it into ranch style turkey chili. Let's get to that ranch. Now I always put garlic into my ranch dressing and a combination of parsley, chives, and fresh dill. Normally I make a uh, combination of sour cream and buttermilk to loosen the sour cream up for the dressing. In this case we'll just stir sour cream into it because we want the chili to be nice and thick. I'm gonna grab a brick of cheese, also some super sharp cheddar to grate up for our toppings. Oh, I forgot the hot sauce. Gotta grab the hot sauce. I always put hot sauce into my ranch dressing too. Hot sauce. A few dashes of hot sauce. This is wildly delicious chili. Two pounds of turkey, one big old onion, some garlic, four poblano peppers, cumin, coriander, chicken stock, and then we layer in the ranch dressing factor. All those fresh herbs, the chive, the parsley, the dill, little hot sauce, bit finish, one cup of sour cream. You gonna put sour cream on your chili? Oh no, we're gonna put sour cream in the chili. Yep, this is what's gonna make you a rock star. This is perfect and good to go. So let me show you my toppings of choice. Ranch chili into bowl, pinto beans in there too, forgot to mention those, sorry little fellas. Up on top, shredded cheddar cheese, if you please. Up on top of that, little red onion. Thank you very much. Everybody's favorite. I mean, if the ranch dressing didn't get them, if the turkey chili didn't get them, this'll get them. Crispy bacon. Bring it. Hello, corn muffin. Hey, you know what this means? It's got corn muffins up on top. You could eat the leftovers for breakfast the day after the big game. Why not? I would.